numbers. You want to see some more interesting numbers. The next person we have up here uh, is really going to open your eyes. Uh, he's the senior vice president, senior technologist for New Star. And uh, he works closely with a wide number of government organizations on security matters. Uh, Rodney Joffe is going to talk about clouds and global cyber warfare. Rodney? I need, your, I need the control. Oh, yeah, I got it right here. Thanks. Thanks, Alistair. And uh, just mentioned to Guy on the way out, there are seem to be a couple of guys in the green room waiting for him, a guy from Rackspace and a guy from Grogrid. So <laughs> I'm glad I was able to leave. Uh, so I'm going to be talking to you about cloud computing for criminals. Uh, another way of looking at it is my cloud is bigger than your cloud. You have had a whole lot of information this morning and yesterday about the sizes of clouds. And so I'm going to talk about some of the other vendors of clouds that you may not have thought of who have clouds that are quite interesting, they have some good experiences, but they're ones that you may not have heard of before. Let's first of all look at those that we know. I've updated some of the numbers based on uh, some things, you know, I, I guess it's appropriate, you know, cloud computing, we're going to talk about a little bit of puffery. So there's some puffery around in terms of size, you saw some of it from Guy. Uh, but let, Rackspace, let's make an assumption, 75,000 systems or servers uh, let's assume uh, each of them on average has two CPUs, so 150,000. And let's assume there's a lot of bandwidth available, 400 gigabits. Sound reasonable? How about Amazon? 160,000. I think we heard yesterday there was uh, one facility with 40,000 systems, so 160,000 sounds reasonable for four of them. Uh, 320,000 CPUs. And a lot of bandwidth. Let's assume 500 gigabits. How about going to the big one of all? Google. And I'm going to include over here Google, Google Apps, and YouTube in terms of service. I'm also not going to just look at the, app, the uh, cloud part of it. I look at the whole system. Uh, 500,000 servers, uh, a million CPUs, and about 1,500 gigabits or 1.5 terabits per second of bandwidth. That's obviously the granddaddy of them all. Is that all? Not even close. Let's look at vendor C. 6,400,000 systems, around 18 million CPUs, as best we can tell. 28 terabits of bandwidth. And nicely distributed around the world. One of the things we, that uh, Matt talked about earlier was all the places Microsoft would like to be. Uh, 230 countries, facilities. So what it looks like when you look at how it's distributed. Uh, those individual cities uh, and individual locations. Anyone, want, uh, anyone have any idea who that vendor might be? You got it. That happens to be Configa. Very stable, a year old, just over a year old now. And those are some of the specs. So you begin to now understand that we're actually dealing in a different world. There are clouds out there that you may never have thought of that have more computing power and more bandwidth and are more distributed than anything that you actually have available to you today. Except these are probably also available. Is this the only one? No. Here are some others that you might recognize. Different sizes, designed for very specific things. All of these are still active and this is just scratching the surface. These are the ones that we track because of the damage that they do today. But they are nothing other than cloud computing systems. So, are they really like other cloud vendors? Yeah. They're available for rent. Configa was rented on the 8th of April for two weeks by another criminal group who wanted to distribute their particular cloud, wanted to increase their size. One of the ways to do this is to use someone else's cloud and use that to distribute the malware. So Walladeck was uh, distributed by uh, Configa, 8th of April, rented for two weeks. Great piece of business. These guys are businessmen. Choose your geography, 230 countries. Tell them what country you want your systems to be in. How would you like it distributed? Choose your networks. Choose your bandwidth. How much bandwidth do you need? You want machines that are connected to 100 megabits? Machines that are connected to a gig? Or how about servers that are sitting in data centers that have 10 gigabits? All available. Choose your OS version. Not just Windows. 
choose your flavor of Unix. You want a router running uh, Juno, either Junos or Cisco or something else? Just let them know what you want. All available for rent. Choose the specialty. What would you like it to be set up for? DDoS, spam, data exfiltration, keystroke logging? Your choice. Just like the regular clouds that you deal with today. What about the vendor qualifications? Well, they've got much more experience than anyone you're dealing with today. They've been in business since 1998, and they've been able to run clouds very effectively since then. Larger footprint, millions of systems. Unlimited new resources, just crafts and new malware. What's, what about the financial model? No costs. <laughs> so think about if you're running a big cloud today and you have to look at your competitor. No moral, ethical, or legal constraints either. <laughs> you know, that may apply to some of the vendors that, that you're used to, but you know, these guys don't have any. So, what should you do? Learn from the pros. Study the botnets. They know how to do this stuff. Protect your own infrastructure and your applications. Why? Assume you'll become a target. You'll either be on the end of one of those botnets or your systems will become part of someone else's uh, botnet. Spin up 20,000 instances of uh, a processor or a process. These guys would like to take that over. It gives them some additional traffic on uh, additional capacity on demand. They're great learners. One of the things we've learned, for example, in Config and the Config Working Group, these guys learn from what the mistakes they make, they learn from things that we do, and they improve things. Monitor your systems for parasites. You may be part of one of these clouds. Uh, in some of the systems we've looked at that have been compromised by uh, Configure, we've found as many as 29 different pieces of malware run and controlled by different people. So someone has a home machine, and they're actually part of 29 different clouds. Make sure your cloud vendors know your, your general behavior. Don't look like a black cloud. Remember that the cloud uh, operators that you deal with today, the folks that have clouds, have to monitor for this kind of uh, behavior. Why? They have to protect themselves. So make sure that if you're doing anything, you talk to your, your, your vendor and tell them what it is you're doing so you don't look like a cloud, like a botnet in the cloud. Any questions anyone has, feel free to send me email. Hopefully this was a little more interesting to you and uh, described a different kind of uh, cloud, but at least it gave you a view that there's actually a lot of growth available. Thank you.